Well, what's up guys? How's everybody doing? We are driving uh, down River Road in uh, Kentucky, uh, almost to Louisville. We're gonna go down and have a little bit of a uh, New Year's Day vlog day. We're gonna, gonna do a few more than normal things. Um, we're gonna head to the flea market. I'm gonna give you a definite update on that for the month of December, uh, show you how we did. Um, I don't know what else. I mean, we went down to Florida, as you know, for the holidays. So we were kind of MIA for the live. We did a little Christmas tree live when we were in Soul Farm um, with the fam. Showed the baby for a little bit. Check that out if you haven't. Um, Carrie and I have been down for the count for weeks. Uh, nobody had the beer flu, but um, Carrie was sick, started taking medicine. I got sick. Um, we went down to Florida sick, my mom was sick, Alexis wasn't feeling well, my daughter, if you don't know, my granddaughter Evie wasn't feeling well. So it was kind of a sick Christmas. My mom made us some uh, chicken and matzo ball soup, which is one of my favorites. Um, she's passed the recipe to me, but as you guys know, there's nothing like mom's cooking. So she made me some of that soup and legitimately had it waiting for us when we got to Florida uh, Friday night, the 22nd at like 7.38 Central. And uh, that helped boost it, but I was really just on DayQuil and NightQuil till a couple days ago, starting to feel back to normal. Really didn't want to go to the market today, guys. I mean, I just, it was a lazy day, but I woke up, I packed a bunch of pops up to restock, probably about 60, um, got a bunch of stuff. Uh, ready to go in the booth. Um, I haven't been to the booth admittedly since like beginning of November, second week in November, because I went like twice in November, because uh, I did when I did the math for adding up this month for you guys. I also uh, factored in the bridge trips because a few of you commented who live locally and know to get over there, I have to drive over the bridge and the bridge is uh, like $2.80 each way. So I did go over there a couple times, but I didn't get over there before I went on my trip. So I wanna get over there and get the booth stocked back up, put some more pops, get it organized, show you guys, give you guys a little down low. Um, I picked up some cool stuff on Christmas clearance over in uh, Florida, uh, Funko stuff. Um, so probably we might do the wrap up to this a little bit differently and we might just do it back at the house and um, I'll show you some of that stuff. Um, we'll, we'll see when we get there. But right now we're headed down. We're gonna go over to uh, Clarksville Peddler's Mall. Uh, I think Mike Baby's gonna be there. I uh, haven't seen him in about three weeks because he's not feeling well, holidays. I got a cool NFT pop to hook him up with. Uh, that I that I got him uh, from the Flintstone drop, and um, it's going to be fun. So, hopefully, you're enjoying my little uh, longer vlog day today, and uh, we'll see you at the flea market. Well, we're here at the flea market. I tried to use a new app called Flip Cam so I could flip between the front and back cameras. It didn't work out well, so I've already went in and we got a, uh, a shopping cart here. We're gonna go load up some of the stuff that I got in the car. Hopefully Mike gets here soon. Got a special present for him with uh, his first NFT pop. So we'll talk to you in a sec. Sorry right, guys, we got the uh, cart loaded up. We got about 55 pops and some sodas to add to the booth. Plus we're gonna go check it out. We got the cart loaded up. We're heading into Clarksville Peddler's Mall. Let's go to the booth. All right guys, so here we are at the booth. Let's check it out. Boy, you can already see a few things that aren't ours, but boy, we have cleared out some stuff. Whew. Some stuff has been cleared out. Let's go through and take a look. This brush definitely isn't ours. This Hot Wheel is definitely not ours. None of these fleece rugs happen to be ours. This egg does not seem to be ours. Let's see what else we got in here that may or may not be ours. Let me 
guess this hat is not ours. Either is this solid wood Jenga game. Quite a lot of stuff has made it into the booth. As far as the pops, everything looks solid. This one does not look like uh, my pop. It's not in a box with a label. Right over there. It's all right. Well, we're going to clean some stuff up and uh, get some stuff organized. And I'll get back with you when we're done. Well, guys, we got the booth restocked, organized, and cleaned up, ready for the month of January. Added about 50 Funko Pops, organized everything. Got my stuff in the cart that didn't belong to me over here. It's a huge flea market, so you guys should come check it out. It was a lot of fun. Got some cool stuff over here, so uh, come check out the booth. Also, look who actually showed up. It's Mike. Usually he's here waiting for me before we get here, but he did show up. He's my buddy. Remember, he's a friendly pop collector over on YouTube, so go check him out. And we're going to go to the car, and then I'm going to show you Mike getting his first NFT pop. All right, you saw the booth, and it was clean and stocked. So now we're going to give Mike his first NFT pop. I'm going to show you guys a little sneak peek of it right there. You might have seen it on the video on Friday. But guys, here we go. We're going around. Look. <laughs> Here you go, Mike. That's your very first yep. NFT pop. Barney Rubble Firefighter. Now, why did you like that one so much? Because I used to be a volunteer firefighter. Should be a volunteer firefighter and he loves collecting firefighter stuff. And uh, this is the first NFT he caught, got me and he's like, I really want that NFT. So <laughs> I made it come true. So there you go, dude, in a hard stack and all. All right, guys, well, we will see you in a bit. All right, guys, what's up? We got down at the flea market, as you saw with Mike. I uh, needed a little snack. I thought, what was better? Then let's pick up one of these Kerwin Frost Big Boy Happy Meals from McDonald's. Of course, we got the chicken nuggies. We got the straw. I did start opening it. I was on the phone with Brad talking about thumbnails and uh, got me a Sprite. Love the Sprite from McDonald's. They have a different formulation, as you know, from online. It's so spicy. And we got the Kerwin Frost meal. So, of course, do I have I got my packets of honey. So yeah, we got the meal. 10 chicky nuggies. We got a medium fry. And we got some honey for the nugs. So of course, we're gonna open the, uh, the Happy Meal, but let's check out the nugs. We gotta do an official nug count. We got two, four, six. Oh, they're dead on today. Usually, you might get 11 or 12 if you're lucky some days. Some of the some of the guys at McDonald's don't pride themselves in counting or caring. So let's go ahead and open up some honey right here. And we definitely got to uh, try a nug. We got to have a nug first. I don't know what it is about McDonald's chicken nuggets. Let me know down below in the comments, guys. Do you like them or hate them? It's just nostalgia for me. I like them. Mm. I'm going to put these up here. Got some uh, napkins pre-greased. <laughs> All right. Get a sip of our Sprite. All right, we got it. Now I have done a little short that I never posted um, for uh, opening one of these. And I actually got Don Bernice um, the first time. So hopefully we get something different. If you haven't seen one of these, they're sealed with the little McDonald's thing. They come with a card inside, so I'm not gonna look at that because I don't wanna see what I got. They come wrapped in paper. It says Kerwin Frost on it. 
on. Which one do we have? Oh, I believe this is the, uh, which one is this one? This is Rick. We don't have this one yet. This is awesome. Yeah, we got them right here. Here's his little action adventure card. And they're pretty cool. And they got suggestions on the app on how to mix and match outfits. But uh, there he is with his little uh, <laughs> polar bear slippers. Pretty sick. Yeah, that's cool. Two different ones out of two meals. I'm not going crazy with these guys. If I happen to be hungry and buy a Mickey D's, and I, that's what I want to eat eat that day excuse me that's what i'm gonna get but i'm not gonna go spend 200 dollars to get chicken nuggy chicken nuggy figures we'll just wait and get them on ebay if we really want them but guys there we go we got brick and uh we go finish eating these fries and these chicken nuggets before they get cold because mcdonald's is good when it's fresh but you let it sit for a while not so good so we'll be back, uh, probably back at the house, uh, checking out my totals. Well, guys, what's up? We're back at the house, like I said. Um, we're going to wrap up for the flea market for the month, as well as I want to show you guys. I went a little crazy on uh, some Funko Pop Christmas stuff because they had the clearance sales. Um, they had everything 50% off, so I grabbed the uh, Rudolph Christmas tree, which I probably would have grabbed at the Walmart by my house, but I never saw it. So luckily I waited and got it. We also got the Elf Pop Keychain 2-pack right there, if you see that. It's pretty solid. We got uh, the Rudolph 2-pack with Rudolph and Clarence. Check that out. It's pretty cool. We got... These for carry for work, uh, the elf pens, because the narwhal one's cool. I'm going to keep the elf one for myself. They had these peanut socks on sale, which were all uh, Snoopy ones. So I grabbed those for Carrie because she likes Snoopy and the crazy socks. And I also grabbed myself one of these because when I was over my daughter's house, um, there was one over there and I was playing with it and I forgot how much I loved uh, solving Rubik's Cube. So I grabbed myself a classic Rubik's Cube just for fun. Wasn't on sale or anything. Then the next bag, we got Hallmark because um, the Walmarts over there didn't have any of the ornaments on sale for 50% off. Um, I, I Well, what happened was I went to Walmart. None of them are 50% off. We went to the mall found them at Hallmark for 50% off. Then later, before we left Florida, boom, I went to Walmart and they were 50% off. So I was able to grab the Owen and Blue two-pack. And then I was also able to grab the Peacemaker from Walmart. And this came from Hallmark, the Black Panther one. And this came from Hallmark, the Grogu one. And another Hallmark one was the Mandalorian and Grogu. I didn't have any of those ornaments. That was something for the card. We also got the Christmas Vacation Cousin Eddie, which I think we need to open this one up and show it off. This one is sick. I was going to buy it before, but I mean, it was really, it was $26.99, which is a lot of money for an ornament. But for like $13.50, it convinced me. And here he is, Cousin Eddie in the RV. How sick is that? That'll look good on the tree next year. And last but not least, we were at the mall. We were with my granddaughter. We were trying to find some stuff to do. Um, we did this little photo booth thing at the mall, me and Evie right there on that Iron Man cover. It is what it is, but it was a cute, fun experience. So guys, that wraps up some of the stuff that I picked up on clearance. I figured I'd throw it in. I got my little post-it note right here with the numbers for December, 2023. We've had a great year at the uh, 2023 year in the uh, flea market for the time we were there. Um, I'm loving doing it. It's some great passive income. We've been getting some great pops in there and uh, we've been selling through pops like crazy. 
So guys, the sales for the month were 766.72. Now, as you know, some of you like it, some of you hate it, but they are charging 8%, so that's 62.14. That leaves us with a total of 704.58. Now, once that happens, 157 a month for the rent, which is still $30 cheaper than the storage locker I had, which I was making no money off of. So once we minus all that, we come to 547.58 so far for the month. The inventory cost for the month of December was $94.39, which gives us a total of 453.19. Now, something I haven't mentioned, but I did build in, it's it's little and it doesn't, it, it's still part of the bottom line, is that I have to go over the East End Bridge to get back and forth. And as a resident, I get a special uh Riverlink pass, and it only cost me $2.80 a time. So for the month of December, I went over the bridge four times, two over, two back, which was eleven twenty. So the total for the month was four forty one ninety nine. Pretty good. I mean, I only went there twice. I didn't spend too much money. Um, had a lot of fun with it. Going to keep doing it in 24. Let me know some of your comments and suggestions below. Uh, 